This is the main reason why narcissists are so dangerous, and it's better to stay away from their life forever. Narcissists are dangerous people to be around in general. You will feel both mental and physical pain when they are around. Their deeds and ways of doing things can wear someone down. They are not emotionally grown and can't care about other people. They don't care at all if you are sad and need comfort. When you say what you want and set limits, narcissists get angry because they think you have taken away their power. People around these people are both mentally and physically in danger because of them. Narcissists are damaging by nature and they often leave a mess in their wake. They are like wild, uncultured barbarians and vicious hunters who take advantage of you to get what they want. When they get it, they will leave you to starve to death. Why are narcissists and relationships based on them so dangerous? Should you be afraid of them? Let's find out by watching the movie for today. In today's movie, I'll talk about the five most dangerous things about narcissists and relationships with them. Click subscribe to get updates when I add new videos to my channel and click bell to make sure you never miss anything. The most harmful people are narcissists who change their victims' ideas about who they are and how they should feel about themselves. They wipe out a person's oldest memories completely. When a bad relationship ends, the person who was hurt stops recognizing themselves. After a traumatic event, it can be hard for people to find their identity again, learn to accept the truth of what happened, and start to rebuild their sense of self. In my opinion, being abused by a narcissist is like having your whole insides taken out. It's many and different parts. 2. The narcissist's deliberate thought out and planned bad behaviour. The narcissist's inability to sympathise, lack of remorse, boundary erosion, gaslighting deception, future false loud bombing and subsequent devaluation and rejection. They can all drive a person crazy. A person in a selfish relationship will suffer the most moral damage possible because of how complicated the relationship is. It does damage to the brain. The damage to their brains makes it hard for them to think in a logical way. Their ability to control their feelings is hurt and changed. All of a person's ways to get food and stay alive are attacked and destroyed. Narcissistic abuse is scary, disgusting and traumatic because it can bring a person to their lowest point, where they can't even do simple things like brush their teeth. The third thing is that narcissists are real pests. Narcissists latch on to their victims like leeches and drain their blood. Your blood flow was drained by the narcissist. A narcissist only stays with or keeps a supplier in their life to take advantage of them. And finally, we might ask, what does this make them? To put it simply, yes, someone who hunts. A hunter is just an animal that only eats other animals. Relationships based on ego are the best example of how predators and prey work. People with narcissism see you as something they can use, abuse or take for themselves. When you are no longer helpful to others, you are left behind, hurt and forgotten. No one knows what happened to you inside. Before we move on to number four, what do you think is the most dangerous thing about a narcissist? How have you seen the world around you? And, you know, I want to know more about how these people act in different situations so I can better understand and respect them. Please leave a comment below to tell me and other people what you think and what you think they should do. Fourth, Narcissists are completely uncaring and don't feel bad about what they do. Neither you nor they admit that they are to blame for what you say was an affair with them. Also, all of your bad things happened because of them. They make you the problem and defend their behaviours to themselves at the same time. You are supposed to carry the weight by yourself. You stand out as the bad person and this has effects that go far beyond that. Not only is it done to you as an individual, 
but you are also the target of a triangulation and smear effort. Your group of friends and acquaintances has been wiped out. It has been taken away from you totally, and you feel like you were lied to in every way. It's scary that they don't feel like they have to apologize. They don't try to see that they might have done something wrong and apologize for it. What does it mean for the person who lives? What does this mean for you, the person being hurt? It means never-ending pain, no resolution, suffering, unanswered anger and rage that eats you up, and living in hell while on earth. Fifth, narcissists like to see other people hurt. When they see you hurt, they feel like they are better than you. Simply put, it makes them feel like they are in charge. They end up feeling all warm and fuzzy inside. They seem to get some kind of pleasure out of your bad luck. This is an unconscious way for them to deal with the crushing feelings of weakness and lack that they have. From the point of view of the person getting this, it must be a scary situation. When a loved one, lover, friend, parent, etc. takes pleasure in the pain of someone else, that person loses that person's trust. This is the worst possible thing that could happen to a person. Even with all of this, it's important to remember that narcissists are anxious people at heart. You shouldn't be afraid of them because they are the weakest people you will ever meet. The only way to protect yourself from the damage mentioned in this video is to understand why you should avoid these relationships and how they hurt your mind. That's why I made this video and have been talking about these things for the past few minutes. I hope I've helped you understand why these situations are so risky and why it takes so long to get over them. And if you find it helpful, please subscribe to my channel so I can reach as many people as possible and teach them. And how you can help me with this by commenting on this video, giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your own groups. In the next film, I'll say more about what I mean. At least until then, let's focus on how healthy we are.